halftime stats, Steve. Well, the shooting percentage is below the shooting 56%. That's pretty good, especially since they took more shots than San Miguel. Free throws. 14 made by San Miguel, none for Toyota, rebounding basically even, and the turnovers, San Miguel has more turnovers than Toyota, that's the reason why Toyota is up by five. Toyota starts the third quarter with Juan Fernandez, Abbe King, Anais Contentuadnes, for San Miguel, front very quickly, here is Lobo, almost lost control, Mighty Mike Saldana, Norman Black, Anthony De Salia, and Manny Paner. Score is 51 for Toyota, 46 for San Miguel Beer. You know, going, you know, talking about the halftime, I think Minotov has told his guys, look, we got to stick to our regular game plan, continue to move the ball around, play good defense, and don't panic. The most important thing is not to panic. A five-point lead is nothing. We've overcome deficits of 19 points, 14 points, 16 points. Let's just continue to play our game. And it's one lesson that uh, pass play lost his rhythm for a turnover. Here's Kunz on his favorite side. Kunz over to Arnie. It's three on three. Kunz coming through the lane. Good penetration. It's 53 for Toyota. They're on top. 46 for San Miguel Beer. Juan Fernandez has got three personal fouls. Black has two together with Desalia and Paner. It is counted. Good hit by Norman Black. It feels to be hot. Very well-sustained firing power. Well, Pingoy, everybody's looking over at the Toyota bench now. Abe King, three personal fouls. Opening minutes of the second half. Will Ocampo risk Abe King picking up his fourth foul? Or will we let Abe King play the ball game? It's 49 for San Miguel Beer on a slam coming from Norman Black. We are on top by four points. Mani Panera really watching, keeping an eye on Coons. Good guarding there. Yes, great defense, Pingoy. Great defense applied by Manny Panera. Inside, no posting. Norman Black, he's being trapped. Pulls out wisely. Here's Lobo, making it from 21 feet. By the double and triple teaming on Black. Black, rather than shooting the ball, passed it over to Gasaya, Gasaya to Lobo. Good team ball movement. Marcus Saldana, eyeball to eyeball on Anais. Foul against San Miguel, it's called against Lobo. That's his second personal foul. On team fouls, we have one called against San Miguel, also Toyota. Gasaya is in one Fernandez, getting it. Here comes Norman Black, giving it to Manny Panera. We have a tie. This is the first tie. This is the first tie. 53 off. And we have the whistle blowing on Coons for charging. Good positioning by Desalia. So, you know, Desalia is playing very good defense. He threw an offensive pass and made a steal. We have a timeout. Let's take a look at this play now. You can see that Kuhn feeds Paner, but Gasaya is in good position. That's what the San Miguel defense is all about. Let's check with June Bernardino, our man on the ball. June? Yes, I'm going where I'm right here beside a beautiful lady. I'm going to make a Hi, good evening. May I have your name, please? I'm Malou, Maguta. Malou, well, uh, it's nice to see you around here. You really attach for sure. I switch team are we on? Are we cheering for? Toyota. And why? I just like Toyota. Do you think that uh, Toyota will really go all the way and uh, uh, win the championship? I think so. They will. You have the confidence? Yes, I do. Thank you very much, Malou. Dr. Bingo and Steve. You know, after two minutes and a half of play in the start of the second quarter, Toyota is up by five. 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 Black took over with two hits, supported by Lobo and Paner. That's the story. So, let's look at Norman Black. He's really rising to the occasion. 30 points. It usually takes him to the fourth quarter to reach 30 points. And more important, he's got 14 rebounds. Last game, he had a total of only 19. The mighty mind. Nobody was in the middle clogging it up, so he took 
the lane. Second tie, 55 all. But San Miguel is in possession. They go to black. No forcing. Saldana tries it twice. That break. Here is Arnaiz making sure. Coming from Pueblo. The road runner. You know, this is Arnaiz. That's one thing that our Pampo has instructed his boys. When you get the rebound, immediately pick your head up. There might be somebody free down court. Okay, San Miguel has to keep an eye on that one. Probably have somebody sacrificing it and have an umbrella-like defense sacrificing one man behind. It's 8 minutes and 18 seconds, third quarter. Toyota by a basket. Quadra is firing from 15. Rebound is Mari Panero, the old warrior. He sees Marcus Saldana, but Francis Onais is there. Swings over to the left side. Looks for the opening. Sacrificing one man behind. It's 8 minutes and 18 seconds, third quarter. Toyota by a basket. Quadra is firing from 15. Rebound is Mari Panero, the old warrior. He sees Marcus Saldana, but Francis Onais is there. Swings over to the left side. Looks for the opening. Pass going to Mon Fernandez. Until the fourth quarter to reach the Nice 
to LaFave. Making it. If you see the lead to two baskets. Ali has already scored 12 points in his credit. 63, 59, 4 minutes and 57 seconds. Will the third quarter. Well, Norman Black has been killing Toyota. It's a fast break of Toyota getting it from the Superman hurting San Miguel Beard. Bloodless now, getting a third personal foul of Norman Black. And you know, Pringle with uh, eight minutes played already in the uh, second half. Again, Toyota has still not gone to the foul line. San Miguel is doing a good job on defense. They're not committing the fouls when Toyota is in the act of shooting. San Miguel has not gone over the limit with their, with their fouls, with their team fouls. They're playing a smart defensive ball game. And those 16 points that San Miguel has on the free throw line is proving to be the factor in the game. One less. All in the act of shooting by Ravanis. Ravanis has two personal fouls. Steve, if I recall, there was no free throws awarded to Toyota in the second quarter. This probably... That's the first two of the ball game for Toyota. Is that ball game? Probably in the second quarter and on the third. Yeah, this is the first time. Yeah. And they probably called from the line. It sounds familiar to them. <laughs> Going for his 13 points. San Miguel, down by four. 64-60. Four minutes and 33 seconds, third period. The Sadi on the outside. Nobody going the right side. Santana checked himself. And the Sadia thought he was going to continue. Kind of hit him there in the corner. That's a big turnover. And there you see Otto Kampf, uh, as you see Tommy Renault up on the bench. The team could be up by 20 or down by 20. And he still has the same expression on his face. Mr. Cool. And Juan Fernandez doing a fallout shot. It's funny in possession. The Sadia tempted to zip hit from the key, Herrera having trouble, deep trouble, keeping an eye on Norman Black. So, you know, I, I think that the referees uh, are going to be calling an illegal defense on the uh, Toyota team because they have been double teaming Norman Black even when he doesn't have the basketball. And according to PBA rules, that's a uh, technical foul. One on one, it's a knife on Batalia. He goes up in the way, doesn't get the basket, but gets a foul from actually Batalia. Toyota got it, they rifled it very quickly, and the roadrunner was shooting down. Four personal fouls called against the Salia, and five team fouls already on San Miguel. While Toyota is over the limit, they're in team foul trouble. A nice, the roadrunner. So far, he's made nine points, going for his tenth, made two baskets in the first quarter. Nine seconds left in his third period. San Miguel down by seven points. Abi King has four personal fouls. He's on the sideline. Herrera came in. He's got two fouls already. Norman Black is trying to front him. Favorite side of Norman Black. Make no mistake. Yes, you said it right, Pingo. And Norman is definitely stronger from the left side of the basket. And that was pointed out in the dot sheet, which you saw during halftime on Inside Basketball. In and out on Twadlis. San Miguel, down by five, could be only three. Yes, Ravanis does it. Nice play, you know, everybody thought that Marty Saldana was going to go to Norman Black on that one. Instead, he looked towards Black and passed to Ravanis. And when he looked, the defense of, of, of Toyota shifted a bit. There's a bubble, good guarding by the Salia on Fernandez. Ravanis keeps on going. Top easily to Black, going to the back. You know, it's amazing. Toyota had a seven-point lead. They had the basketball. All of a sudden, it's only a one-point lead. Three steals by the San Miguel team. Although he did not predict that he was going to win this game, so the story during the interview said that San Miguel was going to make a comeback on the second half of play, and they 
Shulia. The mighty Mike. Marty Saldana. Getting now his second personal foul. And this is time out. We have to come in. My mom will do right now. Hi. I understand you came late for the game. Yeah, because we couldn't come in. What happened? The gate was so poor. Well, it just goes to show that there are a lot of people who came over to the Coliseum just to watch this game, right, David? Right. Well, I asked your grandpa earlier for what team he's cheering. May I ask you what team you're for? You are for? Isn't it obvious? I'm Miguel of course. Well, okay. You see, the uh, Commissioner Leo Pet is not here, so it's the grandpa and the daughter who's come over to take his place. Thank you very much, baby. Pingoy, thank you, Joel. Let's check the team. So, you know, Pingoy, looking at the total turnovers, uh, so far it's pretty even. Usually, uh, Toyota's the team that commits more turnovers, and so, right now both teams have 11 turnovers. By the way, Steve, it shows that uh, in our last uh, coverage, this was uh, Thursday last week, you interchanged the term errors and uh, turnovers as claimed by one of the sports writers. Well, <laughs> that's definitely not the case, Pingoy. I, I read that article, and I think uh, it was a miss. Quoted uh, by that particular sports writer. I think that we, the vintage panel, are uh, the ones that uh, pointed out to the statistical committee the difference between errors and turnover. Prior to vintage taking over the coverage, everything was grouped into errors. But it, there is definitely a distinct advantage between an error and a turnover. And maybe if we have some time later on, we'll give the correct definition between the two. Very fine, and after exchanging baskets, the Gospi hitting and Norman Black answering. And in fact, we are created by Toyota on the throw in. So San Miguel Beer will keep, and should they score now, they'll be back of the driver's seat. They're behind just by a point 69 68. A minute and 49. Interception by Kuntz, and a pass coming off Rabanis, who's looking for space. Making just a great play by Donnie Ray Kuntz. From the steal, he anticipated the pass to Norman Black. He drove through three men, used the glass, two points. And he had the Salia guessing because no one really knew whether he was going to go up for the shot or pass it immediately. So Toyota, Herrera pulls it down for Toyota. A minute and 20. Third quarter, Toyota is in deep foul trouble. 16 fouls called against San Miguel Beer. Nice, saving that. Here's Herrera. Black, uncontested on that one. A minute to go in the third quarter. San Miguel Beard down by three points. Baseline going to Black. Back again to Saldana. This is the one two punch. Quick turn by Norman. Here's Juan Fernandez. Keep them going. On the other side is Legazzi. for a possible... Let's see if we can get that on slow motion, thing, boy. And once again, it is raining as the song goes, and he's from heaven, it's points. Well, you can see there that Dinaris picked up the foul on Marty Saldana. I'd like to see the rejection, the block shot of Norman Black, because the fans are vehemently protesting the call. They feel that there should have been an, uh, goal a goal-tending violation on that one. I think the ball was on its way up, and I think the referees made a correct decision by not calling anything. You know, it's been going on so well so far, and this is the first time... Take a look at this one. Fernandez driving, cross pass out the side. Nothing wrong with that play. You know, to constitute goaltending, you must have three things. The hand, the ball, the backboard. All simultaneously, all simultaneously happening. And in that particular instance, the ball did not reach the backboard. Norman Black blocks it off the board. Good call by the official. There's the Toyota bench, the leader, the big day is Sorasha very briefly during the first quarter, but his mere presence, a big factor for his team and his teammates. Coach Tommy Lalot is now sending Rudy Lalota in action. With a 
free throw by Marty Saldana. We find the lead of Toyota just by a basket. Two points, 71 69. 25 seconds left in the third quarter of play. A nice running shot. Back to our studio.